Welcome to Recruit Knowledge with Omar Porter. I'm here with Jacob Camp, former Chris Charger, state champion Charger. Uh, goes to Davidson uh, College right now where he did play football. Had a couple injuries, still there, still on scholarship. Can you talk sure. about that situation? Um, so basically what happened was is my in, you know, fall camp, you know, I, I like to go hard. And yeah. Oh yeah. Chris, Chris has taught me to hit everybody hard, and yeah. I hit everybody. I hit somebody a little too hard. Gave myself a concussion, mm -hmm. and as you know, it progressed. You know, I I was out, and then I ended up getting another one, and then I was out, and then I got switched to D line, mm -hmm. uh, which I actually found out I loved. And then uh, I just tell you. oh, it was it was awesome. <laughs> then I ended up getting another concussion when a guard pulled and got me inside. Yeah. You know, side of the head. I passed out. It was really, you know, really scary and everything. You yeah. know, doctors talked to me and I, I talked to them because you know, I want to be a doctor. I'm going to go to med school and everything. And they said, you know, we, we don't think you should play anymore. Uh, you know, I, I thought about what Mama would told me. Yeah. And I signed up to play, but the coaches, you know, they were they were so nice there. I still have my scholarship. Um, That's I'm, good. I, I'm still part of the team. I'm still on the roster. Uh, I'm still part of NCAA. And you know I help coach there and everything, and I and you know I'm, I'm still part of the team, which is awesome. Good. And, and that's that's one one reason I knew I chose the right school. Right. You know. And that, that's you know just speaking on that, like great ball player for us, great kid, man. Like I say, even when he came in the ninth grade, we knew he was gonna be something special. Um, now at Davidson, went to play football, had some injuries, but the thing about that I like is the college still honored his scholarship. You know, he's still on scholarship, still a part of the team, you know, still doing things there, so which is a great thing. So that's one thing I think you should really consider, like, even asking coaches and stuff like that, hey, if something happens to me or not saying that it will, but if something happens, will, will you still honor my scholarship? Will I still be a part of the team? So I think that's a whole perspective that some people need to discuss. Like I said, we didn't know what would happen to him. He'd go hard, but, you know, we didn't know that that would happen to him, and eventually, you know, it worked out for him. So, um, but now... So I talked to Jacob and he's doing some research on, you know, kids playing multiple sports. Uh, kind of kind of going to that zone. Um, so basically in my cognitive psychology class, we talked about the transfer of knowledge, which is, you know, the domain, domain transfer. Mm -hmm. Domain is defined as anything, you know, that's, in, that's an area. Uh, football is a domain, S uh, soccer is a domain, wrestling is a domain. Um, and there's also dissimilar and similar domains. You know, mm -hmm. football and rugby would be considered similar domains because they're you know very similar in how they're played and, and the movements and everything. Uh, so they wanted to, you know I, I wanted to see if playing multiple sports actually helped kids because you know in your mind you think well if you focus on something you'll get better. But mm -hmm. we've seen that a lot of times Division One football players are you know multiple sport athletes. Yeah. Um, so I went in I started looking at research done by other other researchers and. Well, we, what I saw was, you know, first thing they have to do is they have to establish that, you know, someone is an expert at their sport and they did that. And then they uh, wanted to see if it transferred between similar domains. So the first thing they did is they took rugby players. Rugby players are actually um, somebody they test a lot because it's a pretty well-known sport. And they, uh, they tested them against, uh, they tested them with karate, with, uh, karate mm -hmm. practitioners. And what they found was that the karate practitioners uh, could actually do a lot of the rugby movements because mm -hmm. the way they set their legs are very similar to the rugby movements. Mm -hmm. And then they wanted to test the similar domains and they tested rugby players against baseball players. In that in that study they actually found the opposite. And then as I was doing I was looking at all this research, I was finding, you know, opposites and you know things were working and things weren't, but I, I actually noticed a pattern within these research, mm -hmm. you know, studies and everything. Luckily because I played football and I kinda know, you know, a little bit about the you know, kinesiology that goes behind things. And what I noticed is that it wasn't the sport, but it was the movement patterns. Mm. Oh. Hmm. So rugby and karate transferred because the movement patterns were actually similar. And then the rugby didn't transfer to baseball because there's no movement pattern like that at all. Wow. So in the end, the research that I'm proposing is to test like six different sports at Davidson. We have 21 sports. Uh, test at least six or seven different sports dissimilar and similar and I want to focus on specific movements within the sports because after reading all of this and kind of understanding what's going on if someone was going to ask me what they should do I say play multiple sports right. definitely play multiple sports if not anything just to increase uh, the amount of tools you have in your belt mm. but when you so let's say you say you, you're a football player you know I was a football player I knew football was my thing but I also wrestled yeah um, if you're doing that find the sport that you really want to do Keep that one in your mind. Focus on that one. Play other sports, but while you're playing the other sports, try to try to notice what movements are connected between the two sports. Wow. And then I would say, 
focus on that movement pattern. Mm. Like in wrestling, for example, most football players make really good wrestlers. The reason being is football players get low in their position, mm -hmm. they drop their butts real low, and they have their hands out in front of them. Wrestlers do exactly the same thing. Wow. That's one thing that uh, helped me when I got to college and I was playing halfback because everybody was still way heavier than me. Mm -hmm. But I could drop so low because I had wrestled all my yeah. life. Yeah. And it allowed me to you know, transfer that over. So mainly, well, you know, the, the big thing is, is identify movement patterns, focus on those movement patterns, and improve them. Okay. And you'll improve both sports at the same time. Wow. Man, listen, great research, great young man here, Jacob Camp, be looking for him. So you're majoring in? Uh, I'm a psychology major with a focus in abnormal psychology, which is mental disorders and everything like that. Um, I'm also probably going to start focusing on cognitive psychology because it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot that can be done on cognitive psychology. Uh, I'm either going to be majoring in biochem or chemistry. Uh, I kind of fall into that just because of pre-med and right. everything. So okay. Just things like that. What was your uh, GPA coming out of high school? Coming out of high school, I had a 486, I think. 486. I mean, listen, we talk about it all the time. You got to do it in the classroom first. Like I said, it was a great... He was a great football player for us, but a great student, great kid. You know, at Davidson, they still honor scholarship when some things didn't go the way that he planned, but he's still getting that education, free education, right? Oh, yes, sir. Still getting that Actually, free education. It was, well, they like uh, the, the, the financial aid office right. gives me a $2,000 like clothing allowance See, every year. So. Come on. Academics, football, and then he breaking stuff down to us on multiple sports, which we're saying multiple sports is a good thing to do. Um, you know, like I said, focus on the one, but you got other stuff that you can focus on, especially with the movement. Man, Jacob, thank you for coming, man. No problem, Coach. Good to see you, man. Anything I can ever do to help y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching Recruit Knowledge at Omar Porter. We'll be back.